for me, it's quite important to uh, understand keeping possession as, as a drill which is going to help you to obviously maintain possession, but then having the purpose to score. So I don't believe in keeping possession just for the sake of keeping possession. And I don't like when we call drills of keep ball. Uh, because that wouldn't be football, that wouldn't have a, a correlation, that wouldn't have a proper relationship with 11 v 11. We keep possession because we want to have a purpose, which is a score. Um, therefore, in that keep possession as such, what we do is we get the players into positions, so um, outside the box, outside the, which is a rectangle, never a square, because we're playing rectangles, we don't play in a square. Um, so out of the rectangle, we have on one end we have a centre back who is going to start initiate the game because we like playing up in the back. Then we're going to have a number four, we're going to have a number eight, we're going to have a number ten, and then we're going to have a neutral player who is going to give us the chance to create the overload. Who could be a fullback, could be a winger, could be anyone. So the objective is keep possession but always directional, always starting from your centre back up to your number nine because that's the essence of football. Good, find it! Go, one nil! Then as a progression, we added a defender on each end. And then when we get into the number nine, now he's got something else to do. Now he's practicing his individual targets. Can he then set and then spin and score? Can he just set for someone else to score? Can he then hold the ball if the defender wasn't too tight and then go 1v1? One one? And then we incorporate straight away in a simple drill things that they might need as individual targets in the 11-11.